October 2021 is up on us. Hello, I'm your host for the Pagan Perspective, Reverend Savannah Tree Walker, the Order of Standing Oak, and Raven Temple of CX Wicca. And today's video is about Samhain, sometimes pronounced Samhain, and also the Germanic Festival of Winter Nights. It is that time of year, the change of weather, the seasons, fall is upon us, and coming in October is the spooky season, where everybody goes out and starts buying candy and decorations and things for their homes for the holiday of Halloween, which is October 31st. For us, in the pagan world, we look forward to the celebration of Samhain and Winter Nights. Samhain is an ancient festival celebrated by the Celts. The people of Ireland, Britain, and there are many customs that we associate with our modern Halloween, which is the festival after All Hallows' Eve. Uh, well, it is All Hallows' Eve, but with this, we have many things that pertain to our pagan practices. As an example, in the old times, on the night of Samhain, the villagers would make their way through town with carved out pump or not carved out pumpkins, but carved out turnips with faces on them and candles. And they would make their way around the perimeters of town and the areas that they lived in to scare away the evil spirits and ghosts and things that they feared. Okay. And then we had the uh, idea of putting those same turnips and candles in their windows as a means of scaring them away. Well, what we do with that now is we take jack-o'-lanterns, pumpkins, and we carve them out, and we uh, use those as a, as a whimsical means of just, you know, displaying our, our happiness at the time of year, you know, to take the kids out and trick-or-treating. That was another thing, trick-or-treating. That was the idea of you either tricked, you got tricked if you didn't give the spirits a treat. And that's another thing. For those of us that are pagan, the veil is thinnest at this time of year. And what that means is this is a celebration where we honor the ancestors of our lives that have gone on before us through many means, such as the Dumb Supper. The Dumb Supper is a pagan uh, tradition where a meal is set aside, plate and all, for those who have gone on before and we eat our meal in silence. We give them our honor by eating in, in silence. The dumb part is not speaking, just eating and, and reflecting on the ancestors. Also, there were uh, times of divination at Samhain where we would try to speak to the dead through all kinds of means. Nowadays, modern witches and pagans, we do tarot, we do seances, we do all these really cool things uh, to contact our ancestors. Also, we put pictures and mementos and uh, items on our altars that remind us of those that have gone on through the year and in the years past. I have pictures of my grandmothers, I have pictures of just different people that have really mean so much to me. Also, we look at it from the more ancient idea of there were four fire festivals, and Samhain, which means summer's end in uh, Gaelic, was the beginning of the new year. So for a lot of us, it is our new year celebration. For those who are in the Germanic realm, it is the beginning of the winter nights, or Alpha Blot, where the uh, uh, 
land bites, land feathers, gnomes, pixies, kobolds, and all these things were honored. The gods and goddesses of the Norse, such as Frey, uh, Odin, Freya, and all the rest, the, that entire uh, group of gods were uh, uh, brought about an alpha blow. And then you have Danu, Dagda, Morrigan, really the Morrigan at uh, Samhain, and Mananan. Mananan was the uh, the uh, god of the oceans that takes us into Ternanog, the underworld, the place of the dead, where we could c connect and uh, uh, contact our ancestors. Um, Samhain is, is, is highly connected to witches, black cats, monsters, skeletons, zombies, and all these things. But you really got to know that it's, it's a time for us to work magically, to, to prepare for the new year, to see what's going around the corner, and to gather with loved ones. That's what we're going to do. We're going to gather together. We're going to have a ritual celebration. And we're just going to do the things that we do. Uh, you know, there are uh, those stereotypes. We don't want to go out and kidnap kids and eat babies and all these things that they say because we're also being always connected to Samhain being satanic. There's nothing satanic about Samhain. It's just... You know, it, it is what it is. It's just another uh, time for us to come together. It's the last of the fire festivals. So Samhain for pagans is very important. And before we finish this spooky video, I'm giving you all kinds of images uh, to, you know, check out for this. I'm going to give you a little bit of a poem to kind of get you in the mood for the spooky season. Of Salem, and this is Phantoms of Salem by Xanabis. Okay, let's see if we can get this going again. All right, here we go. This poem is Phantoms of Salem by Xanabis. Darkness, it falls like a massive leaden shroud over this quiet valley as dusk infects the day. Pleasant faces fade into the shadows of the night as the demons of the dead and dreaming come out to play. Howling at the moon, swarming through the streets, lurking in the shadows on this night of Halloween. Carve the faces, light the candles, offerings must be made in the cold October moonlight. To the phantoms of Samhain, if you fall, if the ghouls are not appeased, you will be taken by the spirits of the dead. The tempters chosen and kin to the grim reaper, children of the darkest night, steal mortal souls to feast on, ghastly transformation amidst the counted corpses we are possessed by the evil of tonight's demonic forces carve the faces light the candles offerings must be made in the cold october moonlight to the phantoms of Samhain. if you fall if these ghouls are not appeased you will be taken by the spirits of the dead by the light of the orange moon in the dark of the purple night we linger in these shadows and we wait there until the time is right. On this night of Halloween, we roam your city streets, and among the masks of plastics, we can finally be free. So carve those faces, light your candles. Offerings still must be made in the cold October moonlight to the phantoms of Samhain. And if you do not heed these words and refuse these simple deeds, well then, my friend, you will be taken by the spirits of the dead. And if you do not heed these words and refuse these simple deeds, well then, my friend, you will be taken, taken to the grave, taken, taken far away, taken, taken by we, the phantoms of Samhain. That is just awesome. I love that. All right, this is the end of our Samhain video. Blessed be to you all, and we hope that you have a great and wondrous sound. I'm your host, Reverend Sylvanus Tree Walker of the Order of the Standing Oak. And what I want to do is I want to stick a little bit 
of a shout out to one of our video sponsors. Check them out. This is Kriya Moon. We're going to put up a little video about what she does and what she has to sell. And then I'm going to ask you to like, comment, subscribe. And if you would, we want to grow the channel and we want to make it just a perfect place for all the pagans to come and learn. So please possibly join our Patreon. And as always, blessed be and have a wonderful Samhain. Looking for items with a witchy and spiritual kind of flair? Then look no further than Kiria Moon. Kiria Moon has products and items for all of us that are in that witchy mode, such as pendants, artwork, and other products that will just tickle your fancy. I think they're great, and you will too. All you got to do is go to the link provided in the video description and do us a favor, and whenever you go to Carrie Moon's uh, site and make a purchase, let her know that you had seen it here on A Pagan Perspective on YouTube. So check out her stuff. She has some really nice things, and we're going to show you some pictures of it right here. So until next time and next video, check out Kiria Moon at the link provided and let her know A Pagan Perspective sent you. Blessed be.